Anson County youth basketball coach behind bars tonight accused of human trafficking and indecent liberties with children. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jamie Bull and I'm Siobhan Bryan. 30 year old Jamazio Birch is in jail on a $250,000 bond. Just moments ago, we learned Stanley County deputies are also looking into allegations made against him there. WBTV's Caroline Hicks is on your side looking into these disturbing accusations. People who know Jamazio Birch tell me he is a well known figure in the youth and teen basketball community, coaching young men across Union and Anson counties. Tonight he's behind bars charged with human trafficking and indecent liberties with a child. And according to the sheriff's office, more charges are anticipated. 30 year old Jamazio Birch smiled for the camera after he was arrested Thursday, charged with one count of human trafficking of a child and two counts of indecent liberties with a child. We spoke off camera with a man who knew him from the youth basketball community. He said to many he is known as Coach Maz. WBTV obtained this letter sent to families of Union Academy Charter School in Monroe. It says Birch is a former assistant coach of the varsity basketball team. It also says his contract expired at the end of the last season and was not renewed. A Facebook page lists him as the founder of NCJ Hawks, a youth travel basketball team based in Wadesboro. According to the arrest warrant, Birch allegedly transported a juvenile with the intent that that juvenile be held in sexual servitude. It also says he allegedly did take and attempted to take immoral, improper and indecent liberties with someone under the age of 16. We stopped by his house Tuesday, but no one answered the door. The sheriff's office is investigating the case alongside the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation. Tonight he is in jail under a $250,000 secured bond. He is due in court on Monday. I'm Caroline Hicks reporting in Anson County. WBTV on your side. Caroline, thank you. Now we did reach out to Union Academy Charter School for comment. They sent a statement reiterating the message sent to families and directing any questions to the sheriff's office. We also contacted several basketball organizations he's affiliated with, but have so far not heard back. Live at five.